Ever felt like your inner world is a vibrant palette of dreams and ideas, yet when it comes to actually painting those colors into your daily life, you're holding the brush but can't seem to make that first stroke? Hey, I'm Sherman and welcome to Geek Psychology where I help INFPs to use the strengths of their personality type to be happy even if you're stressed out, unfulfilled, and don't know where to start. Today, we're tackling a topic close to our hearts, the decision-making struggles unique to INFPs, and most importantly, how to overcome those before the shadow of regret grows too long. Drawing from personal insights and the shared experiences from the INFP community at inowfeelpositive.com, I've identified three core struggles that often hold us back from making decisions and also keep us from embracing the spontaneous moments and opportunities of life. Stick around because understanding these struggles is the first step to overcoming them. And if you stay to the end, you'll be able to get a special bonus to help you make decision making quick and easy and painless and still make sure that it's actually aligned with what is important to you. First up, the struggle with ensuring every decision aligns perfectly with our deeply held values is horrible. <laughs> it's like wanting to go out and let loose and dance in the rain and then stopping to consider does that rain actually fit our mood? Is it the right kind of rain? What does that rain mean to my past? It's a weird mix of things that INFPs naturally have to go through to understand how to make a decision. This blend of hesitation stems from our dominant function, introverted feeling, also known as FI. Or if you're into RPGs and story, then think of it as the soul this character within the fellowship of your psyche that drives us to align every action with our personal values and ethics. They're our conscience. And when faced with spontaneous decisions, this internal compass can make us second guess. Our conscious conscience can give us different ideas. And we have to decide, does this really fit our authentic self, leading us to this long pause rather than an immediate and action-focused leap into decisions. The key to overcoming this, though, is accepting that not every decision needs a thorough value check. And I know it feels like that, and we want to make sure that all of our parts have, some, have their voice in the discussion and in the decision. You can check it against your top three values, though, and make a quick decision, or you can just start to trust that your core values are already guiding you even in the spur of the moment let go a bit and trust yourself and if you don't trust yourself yet then it means that you need to do it more our values can seamlessly guide us into making decisions more easily without a second thought when we know that it's actually aligned with who we are and who we want to become. But what happens when our mind opens a thousand doors at once? This labyrinth of possibilities is an all too common problem and struggle for INFPs that makes many people, even ourselves, wonder, are INFPs actually capable or able to make any decisions, let alone be spontaneous? Picture this, you're at a crossroads. One path leads to mystery and adventure and the other path to safety and routine. You stand there overthinking until both paths seem to vanish. This paralysis is often a byproduct of our auxiliary function, extroverted intuition, also known as NE. Again, as a character within our psyche's roster, it's the explorer. The explorer opens us up to countless possibilities and what ifs, which while enriching our imagination and acting as this endless idea battery, it can overwhelm us with options when we actually need to make a decision and act. This overload can freeze us in our tracks, causing us to think through every single potential outcome instead of just taking a step and figuring it out along the way. Parkinson's law says that work expands to fill the time allotted for its completion. So if there's no absolute deadline or a necessity to decide, we will cleverly find ways to delay it inevitably. To move past this, we need to set a decision timer. Give yourself a set amount of time to decide and then do it. 
It's about teaching yourself again and again and again that amazing things come from imperfection and the unknown as well. So with the labyrinth of indecision and what ifs now behind us, there's a new horizon awaiting. We've taken steps forward, but in front of us lies uncharted waters. The comfort zone of the Shire, our familiar home, is soothing. It's cozy, it's safe, and it's also a beautifully decorated cage that stops you from achieving all of your dreams. It keeps you from becoming the hero of your own life story. If you do what you've always done, you cannot get different results. Stepping out of that cage, though, is easier said than done, especially when it feels like intentionally stepping off of a cliff edge. Our tendency to retreat into this experiential comfort zone, this physical comfort zone of things that we've experienced before is linked to our tertiary introverted sensing or SI. This is the guardian of our story and they always help us create consistency. They draw us towards the familiar and the routine, providing a, a sense of stability and predictability. While comforting, this reliance on the known can inhibit our spontaneous spirit, limiting our creativity, and making the unfamiliar seem more daunting than it actually is. Here's how to deal with it. Small steps. Start with tiny acts of spontaneity and decision-making in safe environments. Go dance in your living room, take a different route to work, uh, try a different type of pasta, say yes to something minor and new, uh, even if you weren't sure if you'd like it or not, just do it. Expand the fog of war of your comfort zone gradually and watch as your comfort zone then begins to stretch and include what was once a world of daunting, scary dragons. The path to mastering decision-making for INFPs isn't just about facing our fears, navigating endless possibilities, or stepping out of comfort zones. It's about having a concrete strategy, a go-to tool that turns the daunting into the doable. That's why I've made the decision matrix, which is a tool that marries our FI and NE, the soul and the explorer, allowing them to work in harmony. By balancing our rich emotional landscape with an explosion of creativity and curiosity and imagination, this method offers a structured yet flexible approach to making decisions. It acknowledges the complexity of our inner world while providing a clear way forward. So you can click on the link in the description or go to geekpsychology.com slash INFP decide to get free access to the workbook with the decision matrix so you can make decisions with confidence and clarity. If you found a spark of inspiration today, then consider subscribing for more insights, more strategies, and more that awesome feeling of like, finally, someone that speaks my language and thinks like me. Thanks for joining today. And until next time, keep dreaming, keep daring, and most importantly, keep being you.